and welcome. I am Erin Glenn and this is the Sassy Last Craft Room. I am sitting here with my two-year-old. Um, so what you're listening to is whatever he's watching. Um, so just really quickly want to do a quick intro. Uh, I personally, I don't know about you guys, but I like to have decorations that um, I can use for more than one season. That way I don't have as much stuff to store because I know for most people <laughs> storage is yeah. is kind of an issue. <laughs> so I like um, decorations that can be dual purpose. So what I have for you today are several different projects that uh, you can reverse, the reversible. Yeah. You can just flip yeah. them over and yeah. it goes from fall to Halloween. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so we're just gonna get right into it right now. <laughs> I went ahead and left the original audio in there. I thought it was cute. My son was asking the owl how it was doing today. <laughs> My daughter was showing him the, um, oh, the like skeleton owl. Anyway, that was, that was cute. So that was what it originally looked like. Um, you see it had the eek on one side and it had boo on the other. Well, I thought, I hoped that I could get it out, get it off with acetone. Well, that didn't work. It just left a really big, nasty mess. So, um, what I ended up doing, or what I've decided to do, is I cut a piece of acetate in the correct size. I didn't realize initially that it was not a perfect rectangle. It, it tapers a little ever so slightly at the bottom. Anyway, so there's my piece of acetate, and it's already dirty and funky, of course, and I'm using a piece of basil, 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 I'm not sure. Cardstock, it is super, super thick. Y'all, this stuff is amazing. It's like 220 pound or something like that. I don't know. It's it's extremely thick, extremely heavy duty cardstock. It's wonderful for projects like this and card making, for the card bases especially. So I um, cut it to the correct size and I am having to, you know, angle a little bit. That's why I went ahead and kind of traced or you know, drew where the corners were so that I made sure I had the correct shape. And I left on, I guess you could kind of call it the, the tag where the barcode and everything was because you're not going to see that. That part's going to go on the inside. So, <clears throat> um, next thing I did was I cut out my shapes. I used these die cuts. Uh, these are not available anymore, but I will find you a few places where you can find some cute Halloween um, die cuts. So this is actually, technically this is like three different sized bats, um, but I left them attached. That's how, if you're unfamiliar with it, that's how dies come. They come all attached together and you have to cut them apart. I just didn't do that because I wanted that stacked look for a different project and I just still haven't cut them out. And now I have all these extra bats I can use for other projects. So I did two sides. And I am just going to take that eek out and I'll just slide those two in where the boo and the eek was. And I will leave the other two blank. Now, you could totally do the bats on all four sides. You could do different designs on each of the four sides or you could do two and two or just whatever you wanted it. The possibilities with this are endless. Now this is, like I said, a super thick, super sturdy cardstock. So if you're displaying it inside and you know you don't have a toddler that might mess with it, you really don't need the layer of acetate there. But um, if you're gonna put it outside or worried it might get messed with or whatever, ruined, then go ahead and cut out some acetate and put it on there. I'll also link my acetate. Um, you could put the original piece back in there, but you know, they say boo and eek. Also, I don't know that it would slide in very easily with that in there. All right, so there's it during the day, or lit up during the day and uh, not lit up during the day. And here is in the dark. I had to use this in my laundry room. It was the only dark place I could find at the time. And you can see it kind of cast the, the bats on the wall. It looks really cool. And I'll change it out for other seasons. 
only seeing the bats this time, so you're going to have to keep watching me to see what I did for the fall and for Christmas and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so my Cricut's going right now, so I can't film over there. So I'm just kind of showing you where I'm at at this point. So I've just been cutting things for a while now for a few different projects. Um, so I, <laughs> somehow low on transfer tape. So um, I did go ahead and put some transfer tape on the Hey Boo, but the Ghost, I'll just peel those off and put those on because those will be easy. But I'm, you know, I don't have enough faith in my ability to do the letters straight. So um, my green... My, uh, my gourd uh, is cut out, so I gotta get that ready to go. Um, I'll go back to, you know, my table where I do my normal filming once everything is, is cut out and ready to actually put on. All right, so Dollar Tree does have a black um, sign like this with the pumpkin cut out, and then um, I think they, I've seen an orange one online. I've never seen it in the store. And then they have the kind of wood look one. This is actually the wood look one. I wanted, you know, a reversible sign. One side fall, one side Halloween. So, um, I left the other side the way that it was, and I spray painted this side black. And on both sides to help um, make sure that my vinyl would stick to it, I went over the whole thing with Mod Podge. All right, so now I am getting ready to put on um, my design. I got a snotty nose this morning, y'all. Sorry about that. All right, so I started at the bottom. So I had to get creative. Instead of just cutting it in like one big piece and putting it all on, um, I was I had just scraps of white left. So I uh, I just did it all in individual pieces, basically. So all right, so I'm starting with the boo. I knew I wanted that down at the bottom, so um, it. This was really the only piece that I had any issues with. Uh, the bee didn't really want to stick for some reason very well, and the transfer tape did peel off. I guess that would be the Mod Podge because that's not the paint. So I don't know if it just wasn't dry enough or I, I don't know. Um, but like I said, that was the only one that I really had any issues with. The rest of it went on just fine. All right, so now I'm doing the hay. When I designed it, I had them left aligned, so that's what I want to do here because it does kind of matter with the the, the biggest ghost tail. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I'm aligning that to the left and trying to make sure it's straight. It's a little harder for me with uh, words with, you know, like the H and the Y. Um, it's not like the boo where it's just, it's all completely straight all the way across on the top and bottom. So I hope I got it on there nice and straight. I think the final product looked just fine. So anyway, you can see that came off just fine. Like there really wasn't any issues there. So, um, <clears throat> and that stuff is not Cricut transfer tape. I'm not really sure what that is. It's, uh, the vinyl place that I go to in Dallas. That's what they give you when you buy vinyl. All right, so like I said, I just peeled off the ghost and put it on there because I, I just really didn't have that much transfer tape. So um, those I figured those would be easy. I just kind of treated those like a sticker. Um, I couldn't remember. I, I really wish I had gone back and looked at my picture because I couldn't remember, but I do think it, it turns out just fine, so it doesn't really matter. I will probably go over this. It's going to be outside, so I, I do need to go over this with some kind of sealer. All right, so here it is all finished. I do really think that it looks adorable. And I'm glad I went with Hey Boo and the Ghost instead of just Hey Pumpkin. Since it does have the pumpkin cut out, that does make sense. But I think this is really cute. Okay, y'all, um, my throat is hurting a bit while I'm doing this part of the voiceover. So I do apologize for the way I sound. I hope I'm still understandable. All right. Um, so this is an example of using what you have. Um, I, I can't find my Cricut scraper thingy. So, um, what that is, <laughs> that little round piece of wood is actually the bottom of one of the Halloween bottle brush trees. So when you're irresponsible and lose things, then, um, or when you have a toddler that loses things or 
two teenage girls that lose things. Whatever. Things get lost. Um, you, you lose what, you use whatever is laying around. Good gracious. All right. Um, y'all, I think I had lost my mind when I was working on this. For some reason, I kept, like, when I peel it back, I kept thinking that it was still supposed to be on the white, you know, the backing paper. And so, I'd be all mad that it was on the transfer paper for a second. Anyway, I, I just, I don't know. I worry about myself sometimes. Anyway, so, <clears throat> I put it on and kind of centered between the pumpkin and the bottom. And I just went around with my bottle brush tree bottom <laughs> and um, scraped down, not scraped, rubbed down just on the letters. Like I focused just on the letters. Uh, this didn't come off as easily as some of the white part did. Uh, well, the hay, I guess, because the boo had some issues, but it really did come off pretty easily. A lot of times when you're doing a bigger piece like this anyway, it, it, um, I mean, obviously it's just not going to be as easy as, as smaller, but everything did, uh, stick well and it, it all did what it was supposed to do. So it came out just fine. That little piece tried to hang back, but I just pressed it back down. Wasn't a big deal. I, when I'm doing something really large like this, I like to fold over the transfer tape as I go so that it's not in the way. I use some of the backing paper to rub everything down. Since it's going to be outside, more than likely, I will seal it. I did leave the two holes from the original hanger because I really wasn't sure um, if I'm going to hang or lean it. So, anyway, there's the finished product. I think it looks adorable. So this next project is a rug and it was a really simple project and it has a really cute um, fall design on the front. It was just one of the Dollar Tree rugs that so was $1.25. And then I have wanted to use this witch image from Cricut forever. It's actually a layered image. So um, if you get on Cricut and look it up sometime, like it is actually a lot cuter um, than, you know, what I ended up with because I just have the single image. My throat a little bit this morning guys anyway um so um that is why I chose what I chose and of course the um part of it <laughs> the part that I didn't just you know do by hand will be um available in my Cricut design space thing so check out my link tree I like to work on multiple Cricut projects at once so I went ahead and did that when I did everything else Here's that adorable witch that I put a border around and took her outside and spray painted her with the Color Shot spray paint. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have high hopes for this at all. Let's see. Oh my God. This is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Can't this app or leave it muddle looking like that or but I kind of like it. I don't know. We'll see. I can't believe it turned out that well. Okay, so I've got all my stuff all spray painted and I have a terrible idea. I'm going to hand paint faces and the words. All right, well, so far, so okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. All right, I'll keep going. Okay, check-in number two. It hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> um, I still have to write witches. I'm putting that off because I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I got it all done. And I actually think that my handwriting turned out okay. And I totally almost left out the C, which would have been really bad. But I think that turned out okay. It just, it really didn't end out exactly where I wanted it. <laughs> but, you know, when you freehand things, sometimes stuff goes astray. But all in all, I think it did turn out very, very cute. I'm really pretty proud of the result and I will use it this Halloween season. All right. Well, apparently that's all he has to say about that. <laughs> no, it was my son. He kept putting the biggest pumpkin in the stack on his head and saying he was pumpkin boy and um, someone told him to say it creepy. So anyway, I just thought it was cute and I would share. All right, so what this is, is my original plan was to kind of give it that concrete 
kind of look. Um, so that is baking soda with white acrylic paint and a little bit of brown to make it a little more beigey. Um, but it just peeled right off. I didn't prime it or anything first, so it, it was a bad idea. So first I tried sandpaper. This is going to take a while, so got the big guns. I am just going to turn it on really low, I guess, and we'll see how this goes. We're just going to hope for the best. I'm getting tired of this, y'all. This is, this is after, I've now just moved on to just scraping it off. Um, I'm using a broken, you know, gardening tool. It looks rough, y'all. It looks rough. All right, this is where we are at now with these guys. I kind of figure that anything that is still stuck on there at this point is just not going to come off. So after I finished scraping off all that I could, I took them to my backyard and soaked them up a little bit, took the hose to them and scrubbed them with one of our, you know, scrub brushes for our dishes, which obviously I won't be using for our dishes anymore. So moving on. So I'm going to go over them with a coat of Mod Podge. I'm um, probably just going to do one coat and hope for the best, which is, you know, what I've said before in the, the best wasn't so great. Anyway, um, I'm going to hope that my spray paint is going to stick to this a little bit better. So it's kind of a primer, I guess. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so here is the plan. This one, the bigger one, is going to get uh, matte white. The middle one, color shot and extra guacamole. And then this in this yellow, orangey, gold color from whatever that company. Doesn't it just figure at this point that I would run out of white spray paint? So the bottom one is also orange. So all I have to say about that is. So um, as I mentioned before, or maybe after, I don't know. This is the same clip. I am going to freehand the words and faces. All right. Well, so far, so okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. Well, I'll keep going. Okay. Check in number two. It hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> Here are my pumpkins. I made that one's face a little small. Um, I definitely have a lot of cleaning up the edges to do so we'll check back in in a bit okay so here they are all done I might could have cleaned up the edges a little bit more and I need to erase my pencil marks but all in all I really do think it turned out pretty darn cute and I'm definitely going to proudly display these so Halloween side and here's the fall side I do once I'm completely finished with everything I do need to spray it with some kind of clear sealer because it is going to be outside same thing with the rug i didn't mention it before or again after i don't know what order i'm putting this but the rug does need to be sprayed with some sort of sealer as well and thank you so much for hanging out with me for these four reversible fall and halloween projects i hope that you enjoyed them if you did go ahead and give it a like button leave me a comment share it with somebody who will enjoy it do all of the things if you're not already i would love it if you would become a subscriber there's a mosquito in here. Anyway. <laughs> but thank you again, and I hope to see you next time.